Autism has an official definition, but I also have my own personal definition. First of all, the official definition refers to someone who has difficulty in social situations regarding social-emotional reciprocity, the balance, reading facial expressions, body language, and making and keeping friends. But there are also signature mannerisms or actions and, and flaps. There are also behaviors such as consistency, routine, not liking change, interests that are unusual in intensity or focus, and sensory sensitivity. Diagnostically, that's what we look for. My personal definition of autism is it describes someone who has found in life something more interesting than socializing. An autism is a different way of perceiving, thinking, learning, and relating. Perceiving in the sense that you see patterns and systems others can't see, and errors, and you're very sensitive to sensory experiences. Uh, it's a different way of thinking, to think outside the box. It could be very original in problem solving, but it's also a different way of learning because education at schools is primarily a social conversational experience, not the best way for autistic individuals to learn. But it's also a different way of relating in terms of affection, engagement, and so on. So when I do a diagnostic assessment, um, as I did yesterday to a woman in her 40s, I said, today is not a diagnosis, it's a discovery. Today we discover your autism.